Well, hello and welcome back everybody to some more uh, Arcanium. And this is a little bit embarrassing. I, uh, I just went in to stop the previous episode and here we are. Uh, I forgot to hit record, which is a total noob mistake. And it's been a while since I made this one, uh, but that was fun. So to recap what happened in between this and the last episode, uh, we, we've been trekking around down here trying to... Uh, we were at 3 Corruption out of 10, and so I've been working up towards the Noxia fight, going to the 9 Corruption. I do think that that is the best way to go about it, because of how the Horde and Upgrades uh, thing there on the right works. Again, I'm really sorry about this. But suffice to say, some important recapping is that we lost a heart, Ragnarok died in a fight, uh, in an Elite fight. So that was really rough, and we're down to one heart. If we lose one more heart, it's game over, like, period. Uh, we, of course, have gotten some new things, new stuffs. So I will be going over those really quickly. We have the Heavy Girdle. In fact, we got quite a few things. Uh, a Heavy Girdle for uh, Aurora, so she heals every turn. And an added vestment, so that when she ca casts stuff on herself, she gains two shield. All of that combos with her now... Oh, and we got a Tome of Clarity that I need to assign. Uh, all of that combos with her now having two fire embraces with the lava torrent, also added in the elemental fury, because why not? Uh, the ignite here, I need to get down in the bottom. We upgraded an ignite. It's our only upgraded card, so there's a lot of work to be done in here. Yeah. But that's looking good. Then in... Uh, Ragnarok, we have the same two artifacts. Nothing much new here, in fact. I think we upgraded another barrel roll, so we have two upgraded barrel rolls now. And we have three barrel rolls, I don't know if we had that in the previous episode. We also have an upgraded and an, an extra tail lash, which is great. Because he died, so I gave him another tail lash, so he doesn't die as much. And in uh, Terra... Not much evolution in here. I believe we got the extra arrows off camera, and I believe we also got the explosive arrow off camera. So there's two new things here. Since she has the arcane orb artifact, uh, her being able to get uh, free arrows and more arrows is really important. And so I was honestly going to give the Tome of Clarity to Aurora, but she has a full complement of artifacts, and I think she can... She needs this more than anyone else. So, Tome of Clarity for drawing even more arrows on Terra. And you'd think, well, then she can't spend all those actions. But the extra arrows will make some of her arrows cost zero AP. So, it's kind of fine. And if we could remove an arrow, or like in a card, we can make uh, make her draw extra arrows. And, and therefore, cheap arrows more often. So, what could I remove? I need to go for the Toxic Arrow. Maybe the Noxious Trap. Just to give make her deck a little bit more efficient. So, I don't even know if this is going to work. She's going to draw two extra cards per round, making, giving her a hand of five. That sounds insane. I wonder if it'll work. Here we go with the shot battle against Noxia. We can recover a Marred figure. We make a pitch black basalt, gaining 150 gold, but five new corrupted battles. I am not going to do that. There's not really anything more that I can buy in town. We went shopping just before coming here to Noxia. If you can make it through my guards, I'll turn and obliterate you. Have you ever split an arrow in two on a moving target? Twice? Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Alright, and we need to align our characters to things that they are good at fighting. And indeed, uh, the Twisted Druid against the Nature Resistance 6 here is good. And then that's it for now. Start battle. Still kind of salty that I forgot to turn on the recording. Let me just go and check. Oh yeah, I am recording right now. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, so, okay. For, first of all, this totally works. Look at that. Amazing. Here's the extra arrows. And they all got ambushed. What a start. So it's really tempting to get the Leechwood arrow. But she has full health right now. And it's only one action. This is so much better action-wise. Getting free Heartseeker arrows. So that's what we're going to do. Of course. Put those in her deck. And we are off to a great start. We have the full fire embrace 
burn combo with Aurora. I really like where her deck is at. I just haven't really seen it shine yet. And so I'm hoping we will get there this time, this episode. We will put the Astral Familiar. I, I generally prefer it on one of the flanks. So let's put it here. Uh, and Scorches doesn't work with Fire Embrace. We will just Scorch once on this guy. Uh, keeping her actions intact. Tail Lash, Oppression, Barrel Roll. We just do the Oppression in order to cycle it in the deck. Meanwhile, Terra doesn't have to attack. She can spend all her actions next turn, no, no problem. But it is better to, for her to cycle her deck as fast as possible, drawing the free cards. So let's just do it. Hit this one. And then that's good enough for now. We're not going to use the Leech Wood when she hasn't been hurt. Yeah, go. Alright, let's see what they can do. No damage coming in. Insane. <laughs> that's an entirely different experience from what I've been doing otherwise today. Let me tell you. Um, so... This is kind of interesting. Well, she she heals every turn because of that belt. And she also gains a bit of... Uh, let me just ask myself something here. She has 45, 43 health maximum. Ah, yeah. And so when she does the, the damage to herself, she gains the two defense, but it doesn't immediately get soaked by the same spell, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping that that would combo with the added vestment and make her take only three damage whenever she did that on herself. Not the case. Okay, but now she has one power. Then we Scorch again, getting it up to 9, and then Ignite for 18 damage. Boom. Sounds good to me. Here we can send out a Vertarian Spawn. And I guess I should Tail Less, even though it doesn't get as much. Uh, I mean, the, the defense is wasted. And then over here... Poison is at four. Toxic arrow. And it's time for a good old Viper Shell for 12. And then a Heartseeker arrow for the kill. That may be overkill. Oh, we do want to kill them so we get new spawns and we don't get this minion spawning and stuff like that. It's probably the right play. Do it. And she's sitting on three action still, so she's missing or like burning an action. Wasting an action. That's unfortunate. Now we have some damage incoming. Oh, yep. And here's the Pyromania. Searing Beam. Wounded. Okay. Can we kill the big cleaving guy here? That would be the goal for this round. Uh, he's at 53, taking 4. I think we might have an option. Like, we have the Explosive Arrow, which does 2 damage per CP. Also, splashing between all of them would be great here. Uh, we don't really have the CP build up, though. But Tail Ash will help. We are going to Barrel Roll over here. To get the Searing Beam hitting twice. That's three more. Pyromania is getting played for sure. And I don't know about Ignite. We'll build more CP. So if we have to do it, we, we will do it. Um, this is two actions, so she only has one other. The Heartseeker Arrow is free. There's no poison on it yet, so we want to do a poison arrow. How much are we doing here? Eight only. Yeah, it's four. Four CP. Well, this this is going to help. Is this a kill then? Yes. Good. And it splashes. So perfect. Breaker. And we will use the wound here, of course. So now we're not taking as much damage as, be, as is being shown. And this enchantment is, or ancient ritual is being wasted. That's great. The corrupted spores over here. We could ignite it. 
but why do it? Because then we can draw better cards next turn. No, I don't think it's worth it. Fury meter. We don't need to spawn all the little guys. We could stun this guy to not take the 7 and the 12. We're not taking the 7 and the 12, what I'm saying. We're taking 1 and 0. So, yeah, why would we do this, this stun? Three druids, okay. And they're all doing some healing business. We can put out the final Victorian spawn. We have the mark the prey thing going. Lava Torian is going to sit in the inventory or in the hand for as long as possible until we draw the power next to it. We should be able to draw the fire embrace soon with it. Uh, so I will do fireball. The ignite is worth more over here than anywhere else. Terran spawn out here. Jump. That would kill it. So we can do a fireball in a different spot. The Nox... The, the, the uh, Noxian is going to spawn over here. No, no, we need to kill one more. Never mind. Oh, we could have gone for the middle then. We should go for the middle. Oh, 29. Damn. Hand is... Oh! Five is the maximum. Cannot have more than five cards in hand, apparently. Aha! Good to know. Uh, and 18 for... I wish I could still see the card. Oh, I, I can. It's just grayed out. So 16 for 16 damage or 18 for 26 damage. Then this one is significantly better, of course. So I suppose we're just doing that. To not over... Oh, just not to, to not waste Fury Meter. Um, then a toxic arrow to get that poison going, and then we have a... I don't think that's enough for the Viper Shot to be worth it. Let's just do a Heart Seeking arrow. And then end turn. Two splashing attacks. We're not taking a lot of damage despite that, that's good. We again did not draw the... What are they called? Fire Embrace. Next turn, next turn. I uh, I will like... I would like to barrel roll over here for sure. Got another barrel roll and this gives him power. So, Tail Lash. We want to kill them, this guy this turn, and then he gets replaced by Noxia immediately. So Heartseeker Arrow is doing 18, but it's reduced because of the damage reduction. Still do it. And then combo 2 isn't a whole lot, but for the Elemental Fury, I don't think we're going to go higher. Then combo two this turn. I think that's wrong. Oh, but how else are we going to do that two damage? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Not as direct damage anyway. Oh, the leech would arrow for one action. And here he comes. Now he's immune. Incoming damage is reduced by to zero. Okay, but what if I do the mark? That doesn't count. Good. Uh, maybe we still don't want to hit him. Like the heart seeker arrow would be reduced to just zero. He also isn't poisoned right now. So Elemental Fury should have been used on the other character before, but I'll just do it here. Well, why would I? It's just a waste of the damage, we could just as well do it here. Hold on. Um, and I think that's what we're doing then. It's mostly to get the Elemental Fury out of the hand. 
for next turn. She had four actions. We can stun him or stun her, stun it next turn. A splash. Can't wait to taste your blood. I've always wondered what worth worthless tastes like. Nice. The feathers used to make my arrows. I plucked them from my own body. You never know what you're gonna get, really. Fire embrace finally. And the the healing enchantment is gone, but whatever. He's at full health, so Murky Strike and Wounded doesn't really matter. Just get rid of it. Uh, and she's summoning, healing, and splashing. Doesn't really matter. What are you dying to? This one says it's dying, but why? Oh, for the backlash. Oh. Yeah, this one has backlash too. Did this, did Oh, because when we destroy an enemy like this one, which we did in the middle, then these guys get backlash. Interesting. Uh, Fire Embrace is a no-brainer here. And then Lava Torrent. It is going to give her some backlash, so to be fair, but it's still worth it, I think. We've done a ton of fire. Uh, then we will... Can we build up the combo really high, I wonder? Toxic arrow seems like a good idea. Then... I guess a Viper shot, or just two Heartseeker arrows, yeah. We can also stun him, I think that's a fine idea. Also build more combo, Heartseeker arrow. Now not the explosive area, I suppose, okay. Uh, and you will take Terra's place to tank that hit, I think. Reptarian spawn out here. That is gonna die immediately, so that seems like a bad idea. Just do the murky strike. And to use the actions and the cards, it's still fine. Uh, it'll do the four damage before it dies. Because it is gonna die, yeah? Yeah. Probably not worth it now that I think about it, but it's fine. I feel like we got this battle in the bag. Uh, so I have a question. Do we not... Oh, that thing uh, that, that creates the extra arrows is an expend, I think. Not something I've ever really registered before. It certainly is, so you only get to do it once. Didn't know, didn't know. It makes sense. So is Foin. This is a lot of damage coming in against poor Terror. This is all green damage. No, it's not all green. This is yellow. Okay. Or white, whatever you want to call it. Um, fire Embrace with two fireballs is definitely not a bad idea. And she says her ultimate is ready, so I'm pretty sure we have lethal. Yeah, let's finish off with the Leechwood Arrow. And that's it. 12 healing on that one. We have the sustainability now, I just needed it earlier. But I've been building the deck towards it. We got another Lava Torrent. Enchanted Quiver. Enchant 3. Add one random arrow to your hand at the start of each turn. Well, that won't combo, because we get, we, her hand is full. But we could give that book to someone else if I wanted. I think another Lava Torrent makes a lot more sense, though. Now, the whole thing is starting to come together for Aurora, because this takes out the Searing Beam, which I didn't like, and then adds in another Lava Torrent. So now it's almost impossible for her to not draw a fire brace and a lava torrent together at some point and combo into the pyromania. It should happen at least once per fight. <laughs> should. We will upgrade. We only get one card upgrade. And I have thought about maybe rushing towards the uh, the boss. 
the next super elite in order to get more upgrades. We need to re reduce the cost of arrows for Terra if we can, and I don't think that we can. We can be this one seems, yeah, it, it does expand, so reducing it to zero actions, it doesn't really make sense because it's a one-time thing. Uh, so for, t for Aurora, though, it would be nice to reduce the cost of cards a little bit so she can preserve some more actions. Like the Pyromania, make it cheaper. Yeah. And restore health, so we're back to full. We can pay refreshing... Oh, it's 25% off, huh. But we don't need it for a bit of sleep here. And then Magrock the Decimator is the next big thing. If I, even giant spiders need allies in wartime, so we can go to an outpost or a loot cache. We'll go for a loot cache down here. And we will farm, I think, a little bit. I don't know. We'll see how, what we do in the next episode. For now, I gotta get to sleep. And see you guys tomorrow in the next episode. Kitchen out.